So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to do the three derivations of of equations of motions. So let us begin by doing the derivations. So first of all, as you know that we have to first draw a graph. So on x axis it, it is time which si unit is second and on y axis it is velocity which si unit is meter per second so od is time oa and bd are equal so it is u u is initial velocity cd is v that is final velocity and bc equals to, to dc minus bd and bd is equal to ao as i told you earlier so dc minus ao will be equal to bc so yeah bc is v minus u so let us derive the first equation of motion so we know that acceleration is change in velocity upon time so change in velocity will be what bc that's v minus u upon od no, actually ab but ab and od are equal so that's time so now we can take the t to the lhs and at is equal to v minus u and here we can take that minus u onto the LHS and we can write it as V equals to U plus AT and hence we have derived the first equation of motion. Now let us start deriving the second equation of motion. So the area of graph gives us the distance. How much the area that the graph covers gives us the distance. So we need to find the area of quadrilateral ODCA which is nothing but just the sum of area of rectangle AODB plus area of triangle ABC. So as you know that area of rectangle is L into B and area of triangle is half into base into height. So here length will be OD and breadth will be OA and here half into base into height. Base is AB and height is BC. So as you know that OD is time and OA is U that's initial velocity. So yeah AB is equal to OD because it's parallel and BC we know that it's V minus U so let us put the value that's UT plus half into T into V minus U now as we have uh, as we know that A equals to V minus U upon T so AT equals to V minus U so we can substitute V minus U by AT so yeah we can write that uh, AT instead of V minus U so you here is our second equation of motion that is s equals to ut plus half at square so the second equation of motion has been derived now let us start with the third equation of motion we have to derive that now okay so this rule applies in this also as i have told you the area of graph gives us the distance traveled by the object so the distance traveled will be s and we need to find the area of trapezium odca so area of trapezium the formula is half a plus b into h a and b are parallel sides and h is the distance between both the sides so we need to write half now instead of a that's OA so that's U plus B B is V so we need to write U plus V and the height is T as, as OD so we can we know that A equals to V minus U by T so when T goes on to the LHS we can find out the value of T that's V minus U by A so we can substitute V minus U by A instead of T and here if we write U plus V or V plus U it's the same thing so half into now it has become v square minus u square cause it was v plus u and v minus u so yes s equals to v square minus u square upon 2a now 2a will go to lhs and 2a as equals to v square minus u square so that's the third equation of motion and we have derived thank you for watching the video i hope you would like the video and your concepts would be clear make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you got any benefit comment down below on which more topics should i make videos thank you for watching bye bye